Hello. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take a text file and convert it into an audiobook. So this is going to be using a method um, that this is based off of something that a YouTuber NoFun, spelled K-N-O-W-F-U-N, he um, is the one who came up with this method. It uses a, a service known as Amazon Poly to convert um, a text file into an audiobook. So the difference between this video and his is that I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about some things that are slightly different, and I'm going to be doing a slightly different method. So without further ado, um, let's get started. So there are a series of programs you're going to need to download. The first one being Calibre, which is a ebook software. Uh, it's great software to have if you like reading ebooks on your computer, and you've got dark mode and a bunch of other tools. Um, you can find it on this website here. It also will be in the description. You click Download Caliber, and you choose your operating system. Right now I'm on Windows, and you'd click Download Caliber. And I've already got it downloaded, and this is what the installation looks like. It'll do this little thing here. Accept the terms, install. And there we have it. Uh, so the next thing you're going to need to um, do is you're going to need to have Notepad++. Uh, you can find here and you just download it. It's, it's pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory. You just click the note, most stable one and just run the installation. Next thing you're going to need to download is Python. Uh, you go to Downloads. Um, Windows, click the latest um, version. Um, I've already got it installed. Um, when it pops up, it's going to look something like this. And you want to make sure that you have the launcher for all users and add this Python 3.6 to the path. That'll make it so that you can access it through the terminal in your computer. If you're running something like Linux, you already got Python installed, usually in most cases. And then finally, what you'll want to do is you want to um, create an Amazon Web Services account. So this process does cost money. It's uh, $16 per million characters if you're using the neural network, which is a, how I normally do it. If you um, just created your account, um, for the first 12 months, your first million characters will be um, free every month. So I'm going to sign in here. And I have some stuff uh, I have some stuff blurred out because for privacy reasons. And so you're in this console here. What you want to do is click on services, and then you will want to type in IAM. Click on IAM, and then what you want to do is go over to users, users. This will be this will be blurred, but you click Add Users. I'm just going to call this Tutorial, and you, but you name it whatever you want. Give it Programmatic Access. Go to Permissions. We we'll want to create a group. It's going to be having Administrator Access. Well, it's going to have a, um, it's going to let you, and you're going to want to assign your, um, your group. So it's going to pop up like this, and you're going to want to um, set it up and give it administrator access, which you'll see right here. So then um, it's going to ask for a key. Just leave this blank, and it'll automatically create a key for you. And so what you'll want to do is download this .csv file. It's also got a secret, a secret access key. And just FYI, after this tutorial, I will be deleting this, so don't bother trying to use it. And then once you've done that, you're, you're done. So then the last thing you want to do is um, go to um, my GitHub. And I've made a version of NoFun's uh, um, 
uh, text his Python script. Difference that I've done here is I've added this little line of code here, which is the encoding equals UTF-8. If you don't have this in there, it will cause the code to crash, as I've tested. So what you want to do is you'll be, you'll do is you'll click on code and click up, click download zip. And then we're in here. I'm going to, um, once you've downloaded it, I'm going to extract here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder and you can put this folder wherever you want. I'm going to call it AB for audiobook. And we're going to open up this. And you see this Python file, we're going to copy. I'm going to um, copy this. And I'm going to put this in here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it TMP. And it's got to be called TMP. And this is where your um, converted audio file will go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Calibre. And it might ask you to do some setup, and I've got some audiobooks here. I'm going to be doing uh, this, this one right here. So take your title, and it's got to be a DRM-free ebook. Um, if you have a book ebook with DRM, then find a way to remove it. There are ways to remove it, usually. And so what you'll see is there's an option called Convert Books. I'm going to click Convert Individually. And we're going to go up here, and we're going to set it to be a TXT file. Click OK. And then once it's done, it'll pop, this jobs will drop to zero, it's done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my um, Calibre library. You can see all the um, different uh, authors. This one is Mia Kazuki. So let's see here. Which one is it? This one. So you have this text file, and so this is the, where I do something slightly different. So I'm going to edit this with Notepad++. And so the first thing I do, which is the same as him, is I remove the table of contents, and I'm going to add the um, title. go and then I'm going to go down to the bottom and remove some other stuff at the bottom okay so the main so there's a feature called find and replace you can do that by um, typing in um, you can do that by typing in uh, the control H and the first thing that you want to do is replace the word OK with OK A A A Y. Um, anytime there are certain phrases that Amazon Poly, if it detects, it will cause it to drop out and it'll make it sound like make it sound like there's something caught in um, the um, it just sounds really, really bad. It sounds like there's something caught in the um, voice's throat. It's really bad. And so this is one replacement. I'm gonna do um, replace all. Also, um, if it got just got OK, which there isn't. Another one that there is is I, I with an ellipse. So not I dot dot dot, but I see it's a single character. And I replace it with I comma space, which there isn't any. You can also do match case just the check. There still isn't, so another one that's pretty common is I with a hyphen. Which there's six occurrences of that. Um, that's the main ones. There's also, um, if it's a letter, as a capital letter with a ellipsis, it'll do it too, like A dot dot dot, or A ellipsis, B ellipsis, and so on. But they're really uncommon, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Those are the main ones. That I would concern myself with. And after that, we've got that text file ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename this to be a little bit easier. 
Bookworm Part 2, Volume 1. And I'm going to cut this and move it over to the... Um, I'm going to paste this in here. So now what we need to do is we need to get Python all set up. So what we do is we're going to... I'm going to, uh, first of all, edit this with Notepad++. And what you want to do is you'll see this, this access key. So what we want to do is we'll, we'll go into our downloads and new user's cre credential. So we have access key. I'm going to copy that. Open this up. And then we have secret access key. It goes here. Like that. And then what we want to do is we'll go down here and we're going to rename that to the name of the book, which is Bookworm Part 2, Volume 1. I'm going to save the file. I'm going to close out. Close out of this. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and we're going to type in, click on this and go type in CMD. And that's going to open up your command prompt. And so if we type it, do you want to test this out? Type in pip hyphen hyphen version. You can see it's pre-installed. If you've got Python 3 or later, it should be pre-installed. Um, so we need to install one thing with pip, which is pip install photo3. And it's already installed, but that's important. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type this in, Python, and as you can see the name of the name of the program is amazonpoly.py, so amaz, I can type in tab to autocomplete, and enter. And what's going to happen is this is going to take about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, this will um, have been converted. It can be a little bit longer, it's dependent on how long it is, but if we go in here, you can see that there is this file here. You can see down here how it's um, changing size. And it's going to be somewhere between 100 and 200 megabytes for this one. And I will be back once this is finished. All right, and so you can see it's finished. So that took, that took about 10, 20 minutes. If we go in here, and we can... Ascendance of a Bookworm, Part 2, Apprentice Shrine Maiden, Volume 1. And you can see it works. And so that's, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, ask in the video description, and I'll try to answer, or ask in the comments, try to answer them. Um, and if that helps, then please give it a like, and thank you for watching.